North Dakota first. For many of us, learning a new language can be a tall order. But what if you had to learn it while teaching English to those who don't speak it? That's what one woman did for half of her life overseas. KX News reporter Robert Sir has tonight's remarkable woman. Kara Scharf isn't your typical Mandan native. She knew at an early age she loved God and church. Within the church, we went to a missions um, trip to Mexico with a church. And that was, I think, our, my first experience with another culture and different customs and um, ways of living. She says her high school Spanish teachers and the members of the Mandan First Lutheran Church taught her to love and embrace other cultures. So at 22, Kara did just that, making the life-changing decision to walk away from North Dakota and all she knew to move to Bolivia in 1999 for what was supposed to be a six-month trip. But everything changed. I met a girl um, who studied in a Bible college in Argentina, who was Argentina, and she um, had studied in the institute, and then she went to, to Bolivia as a missionary, and she talked to me about going to Argentina to study in a Bible college. And that's what Kara would do, leaving Bolivia for Argentina. There, she would spend nearly 20 years in Buenos Aires, teaching English to students who had plans to travel the world as missionaries. She says teaching English while also studying the Bible in Spanish at Bible College nearly broke her. I cried three times a day. I cried in the morning because I had to go to class. I cried in the I cried when the class was finished because I didn't understand the classes. And then when I had to sit down and do my homework, also I cried because I couldn't do the homework. I couldn't take notes. I didn't understand. Um, and everybody just embraced me when I was at the Bible College, and they helped me there. But things would get easier. After graduating from Bible college, Kara and a friend would open a store selling necklaces and small pieces of jewelry. But to make ends meet, they also lived in the store. But it was 10 meters um, store. So it was six meters was the store. And then we blocked it off. And then that's where we stayed as far as just two beds and boxes. And um, so it was really just, you know, just beginning steps. But after 18 years in Argentina, the economy changed drastically, and Kara returned home to North Dakota. But even that proved to be a challenge. Coming back here, everything is just so advanced, and there's so much technology. So that was definitely very hard for me to come back to. She would eventually become a board member at Bismarck Global Neighbors and now teaches English to refugees and immigrants at the Adult Learning Center and at Century High School. It is just amazing when you can come home every single day and say, I love what I do, and I love the people that I work with. Um, and the Adult Learning Center, I work with the adults, and um, that is just so rewarding. She tells me if she could go back and do it all over again, she wouldn't change a thing. I live two languages, two cultures, um, coming back to the U.S., I feel very much, you know, I'm American, but yet I'm an immigrant as well. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Robert Sir. Kara adds she goes through life living it for others and not herself, and that she has never chosen this path for personal glory. And keep it here when we return. New meaning.